To try or not to try? That is the question. What's cracking letter A, geeks? Please excuse the fact if I look like a crumpled page or maybe a chapter that's been rewritten six times. Put on a glossy purple lip, but we're gonna talk trilogies. Ah yes, the trilogy. Do you write it? Do you need to write it? Is it what publishers want? Today we're gonna go through some reasons why you should or shouldn't write a trilogy. Publishers are most likely going to want you to write trilogies because if you write trilogies, it means that there are more books for people to buy. And if people buy more books, they make more money. Since I'm assuming people watching this are people that want to eventually sell books to be able to make money off them, having more books means having more options of income. See, but here's the catch. People don't need to write a sequel. You don't need to write a trilogy. And I think some people think that you have to. And you absolutely do not have to write a sequel or trilogy if you don't want to. Because we all know those books that are unnecessarily a trilogy. It just is really awkward, the story is really stretched out, there's strange conflicts or relationships don't really make any sense. At the same time, maybe you have a story that's gonna take a couple books to unfold. You need time to be able to tell it properly. Should you decide if you're gonna write a trilogy ahead of time? yes and no. If you do decide to write a trilogy right away, it helps you plot it out a little bit more. So you can tell I want this to happen in book one, I want this art to happen in book two, and I want these things to wrap up in book three. This is really helpful to pace out plot line and to be able to give your readers more time to explore your world and your characters. But at the same time, this can really stress you out because you're constantly focused on having that three book structure and you're gonna add unnecessarily plot lines to make it a full trilogy. If you decide your book is just gonna be a standalone and that it doesn't need a sequel, that takes a lot of stress off of you from having to make more plot lines and more conflicts. It's also more likely someone will end up buying your book in store because they know it's only going to be a one-shot story and they don't have to read an entire series or have to wait for the subsequent sequels to come out. It's also slightly easier to work on plot and characters because you don't have to worry about tying up so many loose ends. That being said, if you do decide to do a duology instead, as is the trendy new thing nowadays, you also have to know the proper way and the proper point to cut your novel in half. For example, V.E. Schwab with this savage song and our dark duet does a fantastic job of this because there's so much action going on that we get the big bad ending at the end of the first one instead of, say, at the end of a trilogy. Meaning that we have a really intense compacted story in the first book and then we have all of the aftermath in the second book. Now say that you have an idea for a world or a character but you don't necessarily have enough plot line to create a full series. Instead of unnecessarily adding stuff or mashing a bunch of plots together, you can always write companion novels that are built in the same world. For example, Harley Black is a bit of a master at this because both her original Tithe series, The Darkest Part of the Forest, and her newest, The Cruel Prince, all take place in her world of fairy, and some of the characters do interchange within the books, but they are all their own separate stories. So there you go. I can't really tell you if you should or shouldn't write a trilogy, but you have a couple of options on either side. If you do end up writing a trilogy, you're often going to have more marketing opportunities, you're going to be able to build your world a little bit more, and you're going to be able to explore your characters. However, that also means you're going to have to wrap up a lot of loose ends and make sure that everything is cohesive as a full story arc. If you write a standalone novel, it means that you might not get to delve too deeply into your characters or your world, but it's going to be much easier, much cleaner to wrap it up, and you have more of a chance of someone just picking it up on a whim. So I hope some of this advice struck true with you. Please leave down below if you are writing a standalone or if you're writing a series. I think myself, I'm pretty sure I'm in the market for a series. I think I have a couple that are going to be standalones though, like I just don't have quite enough plot, but I'm not going to be like, oh, we're suddenly going to drop an alien spacecraft into this contemporary to make it three books. Just don't do that. Make sure to join us on Sunday for our live chat. We are going to be talking about our book club of the month, which is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, as we always do a Harry Potter book in January. So I hope to see you guys all there. Oh my gosh, it reminds me, I'm wearing my Slytherin socks, how apropos.